Welcome back to GB Guns. We've got another nondescript black box, the sign of one of my favorite companies. What's inside is what's coming up next. So, companies have various approaches to how they package their firearms. Some of them make a great presentation. Others make them... It almost makes you doubt or second-guess your purchase. Grand Power sort of goes the middle road. You have a lockable case. Nothing extra fancy because the fancy is in the gun. Now, you may have seen we've done quite a few Grand Power reviews, and if you haven't, you can go back and watch them to see just how much I love these guns. It comes with this notification about the safety lever that is also a decocker. That's something I love in firearms for defensive purposes and for training. We get two magazines. Here's our gun. I know we have our cleaning brush, some replacement front sights, and the wrench to do it. Get this out of the way and we'll take a look at the gun. As always, we'll start by showing clear. The magazine shoots out of there and nothing in the chamber. So if you're a Grand Power fan, you might have immediately noticed a difference. That is, the barrel's not rotating. In fact, it's not even moving at all. That's because this is a 380. So starting at the front of the gun, slide to frame fit, near perfect. Barrel, of course, <laughs> locked rock solid. We do have a rail mount and some texturing on the front of the trigger guard, as well as the front strap. Mag release. Raises a bit, but is also shielded by this shape here, so that your thumb doesn't accidentally bump it. Side release, easy to get to, safety, and decocker. Now note on these, is if you bump this and it stays down, it stays in double action over and over again. Whereas if you go up, you get the double action, gun does this thing, and then single action. You notice how short that reset is? That's part of what I love about Grand Power. Comes back to a wall, breaks again. Awesome. All right, coming around the back side, we have our texturing. Beaver tail keeps the hand out of the way. Slide frame, nice and tight. Three dot sight picture. And on the right side of the gun, as with all Grand Powers that we've seen, completely ambidextrous. This gun is ready to rock for left-handers or for right-handers like me who like to occasionally use the middle finger or trigger finger to activate controls without shifting their grip. Grand Power CP380 Good looking gun. Small but not too tiny. Double stack 380 which is pretty neat. We've only seen one other gun like that. Um, I think the 380 round is underrated. Modern defensive ammo is 78% as effective as a 45, as proven by the NRA in their test they did a few years ago. Uh, because guess what? The 380 is also a John Browning round, and it's just a scale down of the 45. Next up, we'll field strip and take a look inside the gun. So the field strip of Grand Power is slightly different compared to uh, what you may be used to, unless you know Eastern guns. Pulling down on both sides of the takedown lever. Bring the slide back, up, forward, and off. Just like that. Now, we've already fired this thing. Because sometimes I'm impatient. Or just depending on when it arrives. So I'll get some of the grime out of here. And you can take a look at some of that excellent manufacturing that makes Grand Powers what they are. It's polishing the ramp there. Steel insert inside this polymer. Keeps everything locked rock solid and keeps that trigger consistent and nice. No excessive machining. Clean up our slide a bit here. And inside our slide. Everything nice and to the point does have an internal extractor. That is a Grand Power feature. We haven't had any issues yet. It is cleanable and removable. So, 
not necessarily an issue. So that's the Grand Power CP380. Get it back together and back out to the range. Of course, I've already shot this. You just have to wait for the footage on it. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on double stack 380s. Is it worth it? Have you tried one? I think they've got tremendous value for training purposes or for those with weaker hands, maybe the, those who are a bit older. And you know, prices on 3D ammo, ammunition, just like all ammo, is coming back down. So it's really not that bad to uh, shoot anymore. And uh, that's what we're going to do next. Thanks for watching GB Guns. And if you watched this far, you appreciate our format and what we're doing, or maybe you're waiting to make that really angry comment. Either way, click the big griffin up here to subscribe. The link over here to show you a related video based on what you just watched. Or down here is the playlist relevant to this video. Once again, we appreciate your feedback, your comments. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.